All right, so we have another shingle repair that somebody did, and they did it 100% wrong. So we're here to do this repair, the repair I just did, and this section here that Paul's working on. We're getting ready to take that apart. But I want to show you how to do this repair down here, which is basically a two shingle repair. It's better if you're going to do a shingle repair that you don't just do a piece of it. If you're going to do a piece that big, you might as well have done the whole shingle, especially if you did the one above it. So I'm going to show you how to do this repair properly. And to start out with, if this shingle is bad, and this is the one you want to take out, which is pretty sucked down. If this is the one you want to take out, go one, two shingles up. Get under that tab and start cutting it with your flat bar. Be easy on these shingles. You will tear them up. Okay, you will tear them up. But you want to cut across. I've always found that cutting this way is the best way with that little sharp point of the flat bar. These are made to be stuck down, so the glue that's on the back of them is what you're cutting loose. You here it's popping loose as you're going across. All you have to do is get it to as far as your shingle is in order to repair that. And uh, what I'm going to do here now is under this second row, I will look for the nails. And to start with, I'm going to get underneath this one right here. Pop it loose. This is another way you can also pop these sideways. This one's not stuck very well because they never did the repair properly. So, come up under here, look for the nails. Always grab your shingle during the thick part. If you grab it right here, you're up to split that shingle. So grab it here where it's thicker. Work your nail up nice and easy. Pop it out. Go down through the whole thing. Get right up underneath that nail best you can so you don't pull it all the way through the shingle if you can help it. Right up underneath. Hit it a couple times, pop it up, push it down, pull the nail out. Work it all the way across so you're done. In my situation, we're at the beach and nails have a tendency at the beach to rust pretty bad. So I do have a rusted one right here that rusted the whole head off of it. I'm gonna still pull that nail out. And that's what happens to a, a nail at the beach. That's a electric galvanized nail. It's not the nail to use at the beach. You wanna use a completely galvanized or a stainless steel at the beach. Keep the working your way across. I'm trying to get to the end of this shingle, any nails that are up above it. Because this shingle is supposed to be 13 and a quarter inches high, but they cut it to here. I still need to get the nails out for my next run to go in properly. And it looks like there's one right there. What I'm working on is this shingle out. That's the one that somebody left in there on their repair not the kind of repair I like to do. But now my next deal is to get this shingle out. This is another way you can use a flat bar. Just turning it sideways. Being easy to go down through there. I personally like this way myself. But this one's been caulked down, so you're gonna, I'm gonna have to fight it a little bit. I don't wanna tear up too much stuff here. Be careful, coming across there. Okay, then you're gonna find the nails under that. That shingle right there has to come out. their repair with it. They, look at that nail they put in sideways. They drove it through the shingle sideways. Terrible. Now, if somebody goes on your roof and do a repair like that, look at that nail. Bent over sideways. They don't care. If they do a roof repair like this, they don't care and they should not be on your roof. All these should have been pulled out on their repair. And they weren't. So, this carelessness and don't careness. Look at that bent over nail, they just bent them over. That's how they put the nail in, didn't care. All these nails have to come out. You'll see them down through there, believe me. You'll 
you'll see them sticking out everywhere. You can also use this part of the front bar. Pull the nails out. This single has to go now. Look at that single they left in there. Craziness. And then how they cut the top of that off. That's completely wrong. So we're going to remove that piece. Get rid of the nails. Get rid of all the nails. Alright, we've gotten rid of all the nails. Now, we can put this thing back together. The way it's supposed to be, not the way they did it. Now it's supposed to cut off the top of your shingle. It's going to repair. Let me go grab a few shingles, Billy. We're going to take two architectural shingles. Start out with this bottom one. Make sure you got all your nails out of your way. This is the correct way. Just above that white line. Just like that. Last one. A little bit different. You notice how high this tab goes. This top needs to get nailed under that shingle. That's going to be your last row. So you got to lift up the shingle and go under that one. it up till it matches up the bottom here and the bottom over there. This run, remember to grab it by the double thickness. Ten. That's where it's going to be the strongest at. Last run, I'm gonna go back to your snake. Slide it out. The old way we used to do this was we'd just reach up under there and try to bend the shingle up as far as we could, but then you always took a chance of beating it or breaking it. So by using this, you don't have to do that anymore. That's much better. On the top row, you're going to have to do that all the way across. Grab it by the thickest part. Bend it up just a little bit. Slide the nail in there. Get her loaded. top of this shingle right here. That's where I have to be with my last nail in that rock. All I have left is caulking. The reason why I'm putting the caulking in, this I'm not going to. It will stick down to the new shingle. This is going to stick down to that new shingle. These older shingles, I already cut the um, tar on it. So being where I cut the tar, so I can just go right across this thing. Make your own tar line.
That, my friend, is how you repair architectural shingles. If anybody else is doing it any other way, they're the wrong guy for your job. Thanks for watching, everybody.